Hey guys, welcome back to Beyond Seclusion. Back in February, I did a video called the 22 Long Rifle for Self-Defense. The purpose was is to see if the little 22 caliber long rifle was viable for self-defense. I had a CCI fragmenting round and I had a neighbor who lost a cow. So I brought the cow over here and I shot the cow in the chest with a 22 long rifle. Actually, I was using the Ruger LCP2. And, you know, if you watch that video, at the bottom side, and I know we hit some ribs. Oh, there's the underside of the ribs, guys. I mean, that's, that's pretty impressive. These ribs. All right, let's see what we got here this time. Of course, we went through the denim. Now I put some extra layers of meat on here. I put a great big old hunk of muscle. Okay. We've got the ribs. Wow. Yeah, that, that shredded the ribs. I put some new lung tissue on here. Uh, the vast majority of people think that that it's viable. I had no idea that shooting my neighbor's dead cow in the chest would be my most popular video, which is now rapidly appro approaching a half million views. Now, like I said, I use the Ruger LCP2. I've got a NAA, North American Arms, Sidewinder that comes in 22 and 22 mag. And I'm doing a total separate review on this, but this, in my opinion, is the ultimate concealed carry, at least as far as size and weight. Now, CCI just came out with the exact same round that the original video was on, except in 22 mag. So I am super excited. I want to review that new round with this and see if the 22 mag is just as viable or if it is a game changer in a concealed carry. Okay, now in that first video, <laughs> there was a lot of concern. Doesn't matter how much comments or whatever I put that I shot it at like a foot or two feet away. And I, I kept commenting, ballistically, there was no difference. So to just put that to rest, we're gonna chronograph at two and a half feet, five feet, and 10 feet, and see if there's any kind of issue there as to when I'm shooting this, if I shoot it really up close, or if I'm, you know, 10, 15, 18 feet away. Okay, so that's a done deal. No more comments about you shot at point blank. Now what I want to do is I want to see what this 22 mag round is going to do to a watermelon. We're going to start off with a, with a watermelon, and I've got all kinds of stuff coming. I've got water, and I did a visit to my local butcher shop. Special thanks to Den's Country Meats. They have hands down the best jerky um steaks whatever in southeast nebraska dense country meat thank you anyway let's shoot this into a melon and see what it does
Okay, so that initial hole that it put in, you know, I don't know. I was kind of excited. I'm thinking, hey, yeah, this could this could be a game changer. But then we opened it up and looked for fragmentation. And then when I saw the slow mo, uh, it came out the backside unfragmented. Really not what I was looking for. That was not a game changer. What I want to do here is real quickly check the speeds on this and see what it's doing. Ew, wow. Okay, yeah, that's really slow. I know from chronographing just a 22 long rifle that it's usually going faster than that. Let's just quick check, you know, exact same thing using 22 long rifle and see what that's doing. Okay, that was unexpected. The 22 long rifle is going faster and has more energy than the 22 wind mag. I'm going to guess it has something to do with the shell casing, the size, the rate of burn, and then the short barrel. What I want. Okay, I'm not giving up on this round though. I want to see what it can do in my Keltec PMR 30. We've got a little longer barrel. Let's see what it does with that because that could be a game changer in that platform. Let's just take a look, quick look here at the speeds. Okay, yeah, huge difference with the longer barrel. Bad thing is it kind of takes this out. It changes everything as far as a concealed carry like this, as far as 22 mag, at least for me. I'm going to go with the 22 long rifle. If you checked out that other video, that's the ammo that I would use in this, and I'm going to do a separate review on this. But the PMR-30, uh, yeah, that's promising looking. Let's, uh, before we waste another melon and waste my trip to the butcher, I just want to fire this into some water and make sure that it's fragmenting before we waste good food. Yeah, bingo. That's exactly what I was hoping it was going to do. Problem was, as I was hoping it was going to do it out of this. But now, let's go ahead and take a melon again. And let's shoot the melon and see what it does to the melon. Hey guys, if you like this video, if you follow Beyond Seclusion, help support Beyond Seclusion, it is really easy. All you got to do is go to our webpage, use these links anytime you go to these to buy anything. That helps support Beyond Seclusion. The other one is our Amazon page. That's a huge one. I've got my crazy stupid deals there, optics, anything that I can find on Amazon, I put there. And if you go in through this link, anything that you purchase on Amazon helps support Beyond Seclusion. The other one is is my Patriot t-shirts and my swag. These are now available on Tandem Cross. Check them out. All this helps support Beyond Seclusion. The easiest way 
to use the links in the Amazon is simply save them as bookmarks. And anytime you go to Amazon or you go to Cabela's or any of these, just click on that link and anything that you get helps support Beyond Seclusion. Guys, I couldn't do it without your help. Thank you. Oh yeah, I don't know about you, I was impressed for a 22 mag with that melon. We cut it up, it fragmented, it did exactly what it was supposed to. In fact, I recently did a review on the 5.7 by 28, you know, and honestly with the cost of ammo and what I saw with the water and the melon, you know, I think I would go with the 22 mag over the 57 by 28 but let's get down to the meat and potatoes or actually just the meat i'm going to take what i got from the butcher um i kind of came up with this really cool idea when i was shooting into the water because i want to see the fragmentation coming out so i took all of these organs and i put them in a box lined it and then i floated it on top of the same barrel that i was testing the fragmentation from and then we're going to shoot down on it. We'll see the fragments come out the bottom if they go through. We've got about six to eight inches of tissue there. And then we will take the pieces out of the box and we'll see what it did. Okay, so I just shot through. You saw we went through and it came out the bottom. Let's just measure this here. We have, oh, we have roughly about six to seven inches of flesh before it came out the bottom. Let's take a look and see what we've got. So take off kind of this first layer, which was Really hard stuff. This was some fat, there's trachea. We can see the denim here. Actually a lot of denim. Try to flip it over. We've got pretty good fragmentation. Holes here, what I wanna see is getting over to lungs. Take a look at the lungs here. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven holes. There's a group of three. So then one, two, three, and it looks like four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we got tree fragmentation, and that's after going through all of this. Now we turn the lung over 
on the back side and there's our holes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Here it really split apart. That's going through the lung. And then what we have left in here is a great big hunk of liver. Okay, so here's the liver shot. And that was at the bottom. And you can see the holes there pretty good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So something else must have fragmented through or one of the fragments. Actually, there's another tear. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's actually 11 holes after going through the lung. We'll flip that over. You know, and it's not this huge, devastating trauma exit wound here. Here's a little piece of bullet fragment. But what I'm looking at is the number of holes going through. And actually, then there's one over here. Actually, I was just kind of looking here in the sack, and this is what I found right there in the bottom of the sack. On the video, you saw the remaining of these exiting the bottom of that box and still having pretty good penetration through the water. At least another, on some of them, it looked like anywhere from five to 10 inches of going through the water. Well, there you go. Totally not what I was expecting. I, I really was hoping and I believed that the 22 mag segmenting round out of this was gonna be a total game changer and it is but not in this little tiny concealed carry package. We're gonna have to stick with a 22 long rifle at least unless they come up with something different. But in a longer barrel like the PMR 30, it is a game changer for self-defense. This moved way up on my list. The, the amount of ammo, the no recoil, accuracy, it was impressive, guys. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you found this helpful. Be sure to like, comment, and sub. Support the channel. Till next time, happy shooting and be safe.